welcome. Hello there, another purchase, another video. What we have today is Canada Goose Chiriwok jacket, bomber jacket in blue TBI version of Canada Goose, iconic item. Couldn't help myself, the winter is coming, I need to look after myself, you know, I need to keep myself warm, although I live in the UK, the winters are mild to say the least. Okay, so what do we have here? The jacket come in a box, Canada Goose box. Um, whoever is familiar with the, with the brand will know. Really nice, you know, doing recently a couple of videos with Jordan Brand, obviously that's the kind of box I'll be expecting for the money. Obviously, this is 725 pounds, a little bit more than 150, but still. So, we well, can see the company started in 1957. Ask anyone who knows, that should be the, the logo. So there's a couple of tags. First one attached to the jacket. I already wore the jacket had it on me, so I thought it came off. A couple of warranty things. It's uh, from minus 10 to minus 20, which is plenty for UK. Comes in the bag, really nice. Nicely packed with all the you know numbers and details, barcodes on it. So we'll be keeping the, the the box definitely something really nice. I might have a use for it uh, onto the jacket. So I don't know if you can see it properly in this light, but it's a really nice blue color. Okay. If you're gonna go on the website, you can see exactly what it is. So I'm not gonna go into much details. Okay, there's a couple of videos on YouTube already, so you know you know um, more or less what it is. Interesting things is the texture. Okay, I was I was a little bit worried that you know the the material on the top because it's waterproof, it's windproof, it's really you know high tech. It'll be too stiff, but it's not. It's not. It's not that. Okay, it's not shiny or anything like that. The jacket is really puffy, and, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. There's a hood. You can't. You can't take that off. It's. It's. It, it's fixed. And obviously, the coyote um, fur is there. You can't take that off as well. There's a couple of the other uh, jackets on the market with Canada goods where you can take the zip, the hood off, and the fur of as well but I, I, I actually quite like it it's it's something really you know really nice to touch the feel and keeps the wind off when you have a hoodie on okay so you have this massive zip this massive pain in the bum to do up okay I don't know why but any other jacket that I own it, this is so much easier to do. You know, you grab that quick action, and it's just it's just a massive pain. You, you can't seems to be able to do it up properly. You know, the zip doesn't go up. You just you know, it's just it's just painful. Sometimes you just trying to do it. I was just trying to zip it before I start the video, and yet again, same problem. It's just like you know, it's it's. Um, YKK zip, which is really good brand, really good zip, but it's just ridiculous, you know, it's just ridiculous, and I have a feeling that, you know, it's just, I don't know if there's a trick to it, or what it is, what am I doing wrong, but it's just, 
this way it takes way too much time to shoot okay but once you break that you have two wind guards okay first is at the front and the second one is at the bottom so that that really will keep you warm and I already tested that in the plus 10 and you can't really walk anywhere in it okay so that's why I'm thinking have I did a little bit of overkill with that because the jacket is so warm. You know, you look, you look at that. There's, there's so much down in here. There's, the feel is just like there's plenty. Okay, so it's really warm. I went size down. I went well size down. Yes, because I'm usually large. You know, almost 200 pounds, uh, 5'10". So medium, I was thinking, Jesus, but I, I was able to go to the shop in, in my town, try the cream version of that on, and that's why I made my decision. A couple of days after the purchase, I was thinking, sure, I go for a small actually, because it looks really puffy, and I will do a review where I'll take this outside in better weather. We have some wind going on in UK now, so you know, the sound will be just unacceptable for the video to upload. So, a couple of things here to keep you warm. A um, couple of really nice pockets, fleece line. So that's you know that's a nice thing. Small, quite small. You know my iPhone 7 Plus will come, it will will fit in here, no problem. But they're really you know if you want to put your hands in them, it, it, there's not much, there's not much there. Okay pretty useless pocket in here, you, you, you can't fit anything in here, you know, it's just like, come on man, you just, I've seen a couple of videos where people said they, 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 they will stick a wallet in there, well, that's my wallet, you already know what it is, okay, it's not really the thing, and be my guest, <laughs> the, 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 there's no way you can fit anything in there, so I don't know, if you kind of, if you go for a skiing, which that jacket should be, good for then maybe you can have your, your, your ticket things like that with small items the wallet will go in here this way it will stick out lengthways it's fine the, this velcro is really strong so there's no problem there's no problem with holding that you have an inside pocket yet again the wallet will get in the last thing you want to do if you want to pay for it you just struggle with putting the thing out you know that's why i'm always putting my wallet this side up okay so the curve goes up it's a bit more pain you have to put it back but when you want to get out you just ends out okay now you can't fit anything in these side pockets okay you can fit the wallet in but believe you me, that will that will come out. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be afraid that it's just gonna disappear. Okay, I'm just gonna be distracted. Now the reason why I went for that is the color, the PBI, which is a, the polar bear organization, which looks after after polar bears. So you have uh, ambassador of the Arctic, PBI. So 25 quid from that jacket went to polar bears. Okay, so. Uh, I didn't really look too much into it, what the organization stands for and what they do, but it, it sounds like, you know, it's 25 pounds that will go to a good cause, okay? There's quite a lot of shit that uh, Canada Goose is getting at, at the moment because they use natural uh, down and obviously the fur. There's a little bit of that, but in 2017 they promised that all the jackets are coming from the, res you know, from the sources, that they can extract everything, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be better than it used to be. So that's why the blue color. Obviously, you have the Canada Goose uh, badge on this side. Pfft, nothing too amazing, okay? I'm not gonna say. The reason why I didn't go for anything from Armani or or or, or any of the brands, um, high-end brands, you know, because for that kind of money, I could get pretty much, you know. Not everything, but there will be a couple of other choices. But I wanted to spend money on something functional, okay? That's why I buy Jordan, that's why I buy, you know, performance sneakers, because they're performance, that's why I buy watches, you know, I buy 
something from top shelf because I want to keep it for a long time. You know, there's a movement there, there's a there's a functionality there. Okay, I'm I'm not a big fan of just buying something because it looks nice and then you wash it once and then you can throw it away. Okay, you have to take extra care to look after it. Okay, this is not it. I know you can I can take it anywhere. And, and it won't be a problem, it won't be an issue. There's a lifetime warranty on that, so whatever's gonna go wrong, I can just send it back, they're gonna fix it, and they're pretty good with that, okay? Pretty disappointing, this tag of this badge. If, if, if I'll go to, I don't know, H&M, yeah, that could pass, but I really would expect something better than that for 700 quid. Listen, this is almost a thousand dollars in in US with taxes and everything. Okay, obviously it's a little bit cheaper in Canada. But come on, man! Just if you can do something so cool over here, and this is not expensive. You know, it's a really nice craftsmanship. You can see that you know someone actually did something here. It's not just some. But this, you know, you have obviously all your labels in here for all the haters that will say oh it's a fake. Like I got a couple of comments from my Louis Vuitton wallet. So you have your little, little pouch here, and like, this is quite neat, you know, there's a little bit of thought going into that, okay? People were thinking, how can we keep it nice and tidy, okay? And a bunch, an abundance of warnings, you know, information, leaflets, so many languages and so on and so forth. So you have, you have your hologram, that's more, my, one of the most important things, and then you have your quality assurance, and then you have couple of bits and bobs from, from the company itself, okay? Now, like I said, I think I maybe overcooked that a little bit because I don't think I will be wearing that. I won't get my, you know, backpack wear with the jacket purely because it's, oh, it's not that cold. And this is really something that you can rub when it's Close to zero, I'll say five degrees centigrade and below. Because if if it's any warmer than that, you look ridiculous because it's really pronounced. You can really see that it's a, it's a thick jacket, and you and you and you and you have a t-shirt. But I'm not planning to wear anything else than t-shirt under because it's just way too hot. I'm wondering how this is gonna stand the a, 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 you know test of time because these things will. Will will bubble up, okay. Cut on the glues on your uh, strap here. Um, obviously, you can make the hood smaller, bigger. This is something we can, you know. I love that fur. I love, I love, I love the way it is. The only jacket, the only way. I have a couple of options on the website, and I was like, I'm not buying anything that doesn't have a fur. And I know it's from a live animal. I know that animal has to be killed for that to end up on a jacket, but. Here's what it is, I, I chip in every day and same thing, you know, obviously I'm not into all that industrialized farming thing, but we are what we are, obviously we need to do something with it, but, you know, let's, just, let, let's be reasonable, okay, stitching, pretty good, okay, you can see someone actually, you know, look after that, um, that's pretty much it, my guys. You know, there's, there's, there's not too many other things. They didn't go, they didn't go like an extra mile with, with branding. You know, you go to Nike products, you have Nike engraved on everything. These guys, not really. I think, I think it's just a little, bit, it's a little bit more discreet from outside. Obviously, if you don't know, this will tell you what it is. And this will definitely tell you what it is, okay? I haven't seen any counterfeited stuff on the line or in comments where people say, oh, you know, you probably got a fake, you know? Like with this bad boy, probably nine out of 10 people that see me in the shop paying with it thinks it's a fake. With this one, I think, there's not many people even know. Maybe in UK, people pay attention but in other countries, I don't know. I'm, I'm planning to go to Poland next month to wear that, because it should be around five degrees, it might be even below zero. Uh, I don't think anyone will know what I'm wearing. I'm, I don't think people will be aware. But that's good, you know, that's what I want. I know what it's worth. I know it's 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 gonna do the job, okay? 
Yeah, the universal at the back. So that's, you know, I'm not gonna tell you things you know. If, if you got any question you were after the jacket, please drop me a comment below, okay? Um, and like I say, I will put that on. Next video, the weather will improve. Even if it's gonna be 15 degrees, I'll rock that for half an hour just to show you how does it look on the body, okay? So you will be able to see my, my silhouette and then you can make a decision of for the size but I think that's the biggest problem. There's a couple of other brands that do ridiculous sizing and I don't understand why, okay? Because I don't think people in Canada are bigger or smaller, you know. <laughs> so that's that's it. <coughs> Sorry, that's pretty much it. Um like subscribe if you want to see more, you know, there's a couple of other things coming to give you a little bit of spoiler alert. Um planning to get uh, 11s um, Jordan 11s win like 82 or something like that, you know, so that's what well, that's what's coming next But then that a really nice jacket, you know, really really Something that you know, I'll, I'll definitely looking forward to Wear in the future and I think it's gonna be a purchase for years That's it. Peace out